Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about the just world hypothesis. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Sci vs. Sci. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you about the just world hypothesis. Also, before we get started, remember, psychologists observe and measure differences between individuals, and sometimes the topics that are measured are about philosophical or ideological beliefs. Psychologists are scientists. We are not here to tell you what's right or wrong about your personal beliefs. Our job is to identify and understand those differences. So, talk about your philosophical beliefs. Do you believe people get what they deserve? The just world hypothesis is a belief that the world is essentially a fair place. That good things will happen to good people and that bad things will happen to bad people. But the just world hypothesis can be viewed differently. Let's talk about a few of the reasons why the just world hypothesis might be a positive thing before we look at its downsides. For starters, the just world hypothesis is a fairly common concept all over the world. Whether it's part of religion or ideology or just mainstream secular thought, most of the world operates from an assumption that you are responsible for determining your own fate or that what you put out into the world, you get back. Having this similar thought processes as other people from around the world gives us a basic framework to communicate and to work with others. The just world hypothesis also gives us the ability to assume that the world is predictable. If good people experience good outcomes and bad people experience negative outcomes, that can make it easy to figure out why something good or bad happened. But this train of thought can lead to maybe some not so great after the fact conclusions. For instance, when something bad happens to someone, the just world hypothesis makes it a little easier to go back in your head and think, well, if something bad happened to them, that must mean that they did something bad. And that's victim blaming. For instance, someone ends up homeless and you just assume that they didn't work hard. The just world hypothesis line of reasoning can leave out a lot of the randomness of the world and the situations that people can find themselves in. This tendency to believe in the just world hypothesis can create an overall more negative perception of victims of bad events as somehow being bad themselves and can create a reduced sense of empathy for those victims. Scientific studies have shown that our belief in a just world is highly correlated to our level of empathy and our likelihood to victim blame. So the more you believe the world is fair, the less fair you might be to others. If you want to know more about the world of psychology and how it can affect you, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking and I'll see y'all later. Bye! If the world was just, I'd have a way better joke for the end of this video. <laughs>